Hello everyone, welcome to the first LEGO video of the channel. I am so excited to be able to review this set. It is set number 75283, or the AAT, which is short for Armored Assault Tank. This set comes with four mini figs, uh, two AAT driver battle droids, Ahsoka Tano, and Ahsoka Cl Tano's clone trooper, also known as the 332nd clone trooper. This piece has 286 pieces, and currently retails for about $60, uh, that being because it is retired. Uh, when it was not retired, it retailed for about $40, but if you're looking to get this thing brand new and sealed, you're going to look about $60 to $70 for this set. There's nothing too important on the back of the box. Uh, it clearly explains just some of the main functionalities. It shows that the side turrets move and the top head moves along with the uh, main turret that moves up and down and up here it also shows it has spring-loaded missiles and here it shows the cockpit that opens up and a droid can fit inside. So without further ado let's go ahead and open this up. Okay so let's first take a look at the minifigures of this build and then we'll go into the actual build itself. The first minifigure we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the 332nd Trooper or Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. So the first thing we notice is it has this really nice orange and white print on the head and then it comes down to the uh, lower part of the helmet. It's got these nice lines uh, and then this light gray area right here next to the head that actually is very accurate to the clone trooper itself. Once you take the helmet off you will see that he has just a standard clone trooper face. Uh, nothing too special about it. Uh, there is no printing on the back of this head however. Uh, because it's just pretty plain. There's nothing too special to be seen here. The rest of the clone trooper is outfitted very nicely. He has a nice standard uh, print for a 332 second trooper. On the torso part, it's just got this kind of blue triangle and then a standard clone uh, torso as well. He also has print on the back side of the torso, uh, which is kind of just a little few details that kind of add to the clone trooper, but it doesn't, isn't really anything uh, exceptionally special. Here we also have a very nice printing on the legs with this nice blue and light gray tone to them. We also have printing on the feet, which is actually a very nice touch that the Lego added. However, we do not have arm printing, which I just feel like it would be better if we did. It would really add to the minifigure as a whole, but sadly we don't have it on this particular clone trooper. The clone trooper is also outfitted with a blaster, uh, just as like a standard assault clone trooper weapon. The next figure we have to look at is Ahsoka Tano. She, uh, first off, we notice that she has very nice printing on the headpiece, uh, and the cool thing about the headpiece is it almost is like a rubbery texture, which is really nice uh, for her kind of tails off of her head. This minifigure does come with front and back printing on the hairpiece, which is really nice. It uh, kind of completes the minifigure look overall. Once the headpiece is removed, you will notice that Ahsoka has front as well as back face printing. Uh, her back face print is kind of a angrier look uh, that is kind of showing that she wants to really destroy battle droids. And the front is kind of more of a chill, I got this kind of look. Ahsoka also has a front uh, print on her body, as well as a back print. Uh, there's nothing too special about this. It kind of looks like just her normal clothes in uh, like what they might be later. She also has normal leg printing that really nicely matches her body print as well. She is not outfitted with printed sides on the arms, however, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, again, I feel like adding side printing to the arms really completes a character. She is also outfitted with two lightsabers as we see all throughout the Clone Wars animated TV series. The last main figure we are going to take a look at today is the AAT pilot battle droid. Uh, so this battle droid, there's nothing too special about him. He does have a custom head print with kind of a lighter green that fades into a darker green at the bottom. Uh, the only thing really special about this droid is his head and his uh, body color. The body color is almost like a swampy green color, um, which isn't really too special. 
This droid is outfitted with one straight arm so he can hold a blaster and one curved arm just for looks, I guess. I'm not really sure why the curved arm is there. The legs are just standard droid legs and he comes with a kind of pearly gray blaster, which is actually kind of different uh, than other droid sets that uh, in the past, they generally come with just a uh, black color blaster instead. Moving on to the actual set itself, it is a really nice color. I do really like the gray and blue combo. Uh, this set is actually surprisingly well built. Uh, I only have a few complaints about that, but we'll get to that later. First, I would like to show uh, kind of the play features of the set. So we do have kind of a rotating barrel up here. It goes up and down, and then the back part moves side to side, kind of so you can aim any direction you would like. Uh, however, it does not go down. It kind of just stops right there, and you can't move it anymore. The side turrets do move up and down. They are a little harder to move, and they feel like they will pop off kind of easier, uh, but they still do move. Uh, I try to keep them in the same spot, though, because, like I said, every time I move them, it feels like they're going to almost pop off. The top hatch of the build is also able to open, and you are also able to place a battle droid inside there, almost like they are piloting the top gun. And it does close, however, it is a little bit rough to close uh, because the minifigs are sometimes a little bit hard to fit in perfectly. Uh, here we have two control panels um, that were that make it look like a cockpit kind of and you can also fit a battle droid inside of here just to give it a full complete look like he is piloting it and you are also able to shut the door completely there is one more play feature on the set and that would be the two spring-loaded missiles that are located at the bottom of the aat all that has to be done to activate this missiles is simply press down on this lever and the missile will actually shoot out just like so. This set nicely only has two stickers located on either side of the AAT just to show the uh, separatist logo here. The back of the build is not super exciting. It does have this kind of uh, black exposed panel right here that's not really covered up at all. but. What can you say? It's a really good set overall. There are a few issues about it that I will go over, but for the most part, I'm just displaying it on the front, so I don't really ever see this back part uh, back here. My only complaint about this set is the fact that the barrel of the main gun itself is so long on this set. Now, it is a good set overall, but this one error is really weird. It doesn't make any sense to me because None of the shows or the previous AATs have a barrel this long, but for some reason LEGO decided to make it a really long barrel on this exact one. I'm not really sure why. It's not a horrible thing, especially if you're not like super into LEGO. Uh, if you just want it to collect, then it's absolutely fine. No complaints. Uh, this is just one of the minor things that I kind of wish LEGO would pay attention to a little bit. Uh, even though it's overall a great set, this one little detail is slightly annoying to me. Overall, I think I give this set a 9 out of 10. It is a really good build. It has some things that need to be changed, but overall, I think it's really good. The minifigures in this set are also very nice. Uh, they all have really good printing. And overall, I really like this set. 